All right, and welcome back, folks. I just took a minute to go get something to drink and come back here. And we'll go ahead and continue on our way. But first, I need to heal up. We're going to use Tristan for that. Uh, how much does that cost? Luckily, auto drive and escape don't cost too much, so that's kind of nice. So we're going to go ahead and use this on that. That's fine. And then there. Now, one thing I never had a chance to really show off was the cure for... Um, using the cure hurt plus hurt plus <clears throat> and that really comes in handy when you are fighting the zaku two special snipers they will inflict that on your mobile suit which is, looks like a bandage that's been applied to it oh that's a mass slowdown and that's emulation fucking up too anyway let's go ahead and continue on here oh big open area let me guess this is gonna be a boss fight no nothing no chest or anything else doesn't appear that way. Oh, there's a fight. Hmm. Let's see, do we go into the fight? Or do I go over here and explore? Uh, you know what? Screw it. We're going to go west. Oh. You know what? That looks even more menacing. We're going to go to the yellow. <laughs> Actually, uh, now I'm kind of curious what's in there. Gun cannon's fine. God damn it, don't start with the speed up stuff. It's just like with the Zaku uh, two shields. Or the shield Zakus, when they just boost their defense to like n near infinite levels. Anyways, now that you're all screwed. Not before you hit Fritz a couple more times though, eh? Come on, drop me another sub rock gun for uh, Fritz there. Ah, oh, come on, you stingy bastards. You know, let's fuck it. Let's go fight this thing, whatever it is. Not before I heal, though. <laughs> We're gonna have to start using Fritz, though, for healing. Because Aeon is definitely the last one I want to use for healing. I do have, a, I think, an item that will restore health, but I don't want to use it. Or not health, but TP. Oh, hey, look! A Zagak! He's going to be using melee, so he is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, no, 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 no. I'd love to get the acid effect on him. Wow, you dick. And he's also fast, too. You did nothing to me. Beam pick. Fight. Small cannon. Fight. sub rock gun. Hopefully that speeds him down. It'd be nice to get that effect on him. I have turned Tristan into a beast machine, man. He just took that double claw attack like nothing. Nice! So we got the Zagok Claw R and a small ECAP system. That's not too bad. Now, that's another mobile suit part, the uh, the claw, but I don't think I'm going to use that. Oh, cutscene. Actually, Fritz took the majority of a lot of that uh, damage, but then so did Tristan. He kind of rolled that right off his shoulders. Well, they're all amphibious mobile suits, if that's what you're getting at, Fritz. I don't know if that's a subtle Transformers reference right there, but I'm taking it as one. Yeah, but they're on the other they're on another continent, technically. Or at least another good side of one. Okay, so we took out a Zagok, that's not too bad. But that did kind of ruin my health a little bit. Pair. Pair. And then Aeon yeah, didn't get touched. So if that's that I wanna know what's over here now. This is the indecisiveness that happens to me every dungeon I will ever go into. Gogs is fine. Not that big of a threat, really. Ow. So 
Small cannon, sub rock gun. Hot damn, our team's doing pretty good now. Okay. Come on, something good. Big wide open area always makes me a little nervous. Nothing in the big wide open area. Looks like a dead end ahead of not before I get to another goddamn fight. And yeah, I could edit these out, but that's a lot of work. I it, it hasn't gotten to an annoying factor for me yet. So you guys get to suffer alongside me. I kinda wish you could do like the row system from earlier Final Fantasy. Ow. As you can see, the little bandage icon that's now sitting on top of Fritz's helmet, basically. That is the hurt status. A pain in the ass, but it's not nothing we can't overcome. And thankfully, with Tristan here, we can actually get rid of it pretty easily. But he doesn't have a whole lot of TP right now, so I'm a little worried about that. Speed kit! I think that just improves the speed of a mobile suit, which will save those later. And the reason you want to save those, like the armor up kits and things like that, because when you get to like mobile suits where it costs a shit ton for that, uh, you know, you get the idea. See, healing now can be used, because hurt. Fritz, we need you to repair, old boy. Find out what's on this dead end. And at any point, ooh, two chests. And at any point when you feel like you're getting overwhelmed, don't forget to use escape to get the hell out of dodge, and then you can at least use that in an auto drive right back to Port Marley. I'm level eight here, so I'm kind of about, I think this is about right level for this area, to be honest. And we haven't even gotten to the fun parts yet. Wow. That whole thing, we haven't killed but only one. Scratch that, too. Small cannon and sub rock gun. Oh, good. It's kind of a waste for him to use that on himself. But I won't hold that against him. Not me. No, no, no. That Metal Guard 2. Ooh, hey! The... Oh man, I'm going to slaughter this one. The Bakunetsu Kin! <clears throat> yeah, we're going to get names like that, and I do not remember what that attack does. We'll have to look that up once we actually get into battle. I can show off the other one, too. Alright, another small cannon, which is kind of useless. And an SOS Signal Flare. The SOS Signal Flare is an item that should act like the auto drive. Of course, now I can't see my capsule. Or my indicator. Right shoulder, Zaku machine gun. I don't I can't see my cursor. That's annoying as hell now. And that keeps that's emulation doing that too. Alright, so we got some stuff out of there. Nothing really special. The small cannon, uh, at this point, since we have the gun cannon we purchased for Aeon. If Aeon was still using a small cannon, then this one would have gone to Trit or to Fritz, but he already has Aeon's old one. So it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, for fuck's sake, Fritz, can you at least kill one thing? Of course. <sighs> Fucking acid attack. Anyways, ah, now I can look at it. So uh, we got the boost attack, which everyone's seen. A flaming punch that overheats the enemy. It's a fist type attack. So that's okay, I suppose. It costs the same as a boost attack, which isn't bad. And then the Mega Slash, that's the other one, which is a powerful, energy-consuming slash attack, sword slash axe only. So you have to have those equipped in order for that to work. Which we have the Bean Pick, which is technically a sword class weapon, I think. Alright, let's end this so I can get rid of that freaking acid status. Oh, Aeon leveled up. Nice. We got the Snipe Assist boost attack. I do not remember that one either. 
But what I will use is cleansing fluid. Where's my hacking tool? Where was that one popping up at? Resisting acid, data for goof. There it is. I have to kind of guess where that thing is. Okay. Now let's go ahead and head back. So I guess the proper way was where we fought the Zagak at then. And now another thing about the, speaking of the Zagok, the Zagok arm that we picked up, because it is technically an arm with claws, you can't really hold weapons in it, I don't think. So that's a bit of a pain in the ass. Definitely gonna take out you first. Oh, no, 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 no. Gun cannon. Ow. Would you stop hitting her? Hit Fritz, he's used to it. He is our Camille. Well, actually, that's not true. If he was Camille, you know, even with the brain damage, he would still be a beast of a fighter. But this guy is just a chicken shit. It's Rag on Fritz Day. It's Rag on Fritz Day. Hell, at this rate, I was about to say, I'm going to be level 10 before I get to the end of this. Chaffield! New boost attacks out the wazoo. Oh, I thought there was a split here, but I guess not. I feel like I'm driving a golf cart with this mobile suit. <laughs> bum bum. I could really do for a save point. Hello, nice. I saw it on the map. I want it. I want it. No, I don't want this. This isn't what I wanted. I didn't ask for this. You know what, we're just going to have you over there, because you're not going to kill shit anyways. And we'll do that. You're getting close to it. Not quite. You know what, I'll take that. So we're going to have you use the bean pick on him, and the small cannon on him, which will be overkill, and the sub -rock gun on whatever the hell's left. Five damage. I feel like a Mega Particle Cannon would actually melt the freaking Mobile Suit's arm off. But that's if we were really looking. Ooh, an Acid Sword, you say? Well, well, well. That might be something for Tristan there. Let's see here. Let's get rid of that and let's see what the Acid Sword does. Okay, so. Oh. Beam Picks, 32. Ugh, sucks. Nope, we're sticking with the beam pick. And unst, I see a save point. Ah, feels like healing. Oh, don't you crash on me, you bastard. Thank you. Come on, check my memory card. I know it's getting full. Oh no, there's only 16 spots. Oh, bollocks, I thought there was infinite. Oh well. Um, I guess we'll, since we're already done here, we'll save over uh, Tristan level one. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do with these save points, but it does heal us back to full health, so I'm not going to bitch one bit. We're full health. My TP's doing a little bad for Tristan there, and I see a dead. Ooh, and a treasure chest. Ooh, a piece of candy. Ooh, a piece of candy. Mine, 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 mine. Repair kit. I guess that's okay. <laughs> Alright, I'm tired of fighting you guys. You guys were kind of cool for a little bit, but now it's just kind of getting old. Almost 50 damage, tri or, uh, Fritz. Wow, you used it on something that's actually beneficial. And you paid for it with your life. Beam pick. Small cannon. sub -rock gun. Sucks for you guys that there's a save point right here and I can just refresh my health. Ha 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 ha. 
monster rock gun. Damn. All right. Hover, 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 hover. Go faster, you assholes. We can't stop here. Full health. And let's go into the miniature boss fight. I wonder, did these count as boss fights? Team pick on you. Ass machine gun on you. Fight gun cannon on you. Ow. Ow. Alright. Ha! You missed! Damn. Spoke too soon. Fight small cannon. Fight sub rock gun. Now that was a waste. Ah! Speed down! Doesn't really matter, you wasn't even attacking to begin with. That's a machine gun, and... Just in case those miss, gun cannon. Ow. Oh, bastard had a lot of health. Four hundred XP. I might hit level ten before we beat this place. Uh, might as well hit the save point since I'm right there. Probably get into a fight right about the same point. Come on, let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Yes. Right. Oh, we are definitely getting to the end of this area. Now we're starting to see Doc. Cutscene. What, the urge to pee? Okay, I'm gonna just call new type hacks right fucking now. Not that there's anything wrong with new types, is that they just generally tend to be psychotic, and I don't really want to put up with you if you're gonna turn into that type of character. Now, remember his comment that he can't pick anything up on radar. I'm just going to make a joke later on about this. And ooh, the ominous music. Oh, Fritz, let me just introduce you to most of the original Gundam series. Okay, if I somebody told me that they're hearing voices in their head, that's an indicator to run the other direction pretty quick. Maybe she's hearing stuff through the headphones she has on. Long story short, she's having a new type premonition. She feels the mobile suit's attempt to kill us. This cut angle looks just kind of reminds me of Voltron when you used to get all the pilots in their like face angles put together. Yes, yes, yes. The power of love and friendship will conquer all Japanese tropes for RPGs 101. Okay. I wish I kind of kept with that ominous music. That was actually pretty good. So we get a little cutscene. We get to walk into the base. Uh, what's really disorienting is the map on the lower right and your camera view of the actual area is just a little odd. What's over here? I'm always kind of curious if there are just random chests over here. Now, I want to be careful in this area because there is a boss fight in this area. And if you get too close to it, you will trigger it. And I don't want us to be doing that. Rat fuck. Okay, beam pick. You fight. Small cannon. You fight. Sub rock gun. You. I'm not trying to avoid taking as much damage as possible here because I don't feel like backtracking to that save point. But at least it's only one save area. Ooh, finally a sub rock gun. Uh, ooh, a piece of candy. Uh, even though it's just across another screen, it's still a bit of a trounce back to this place. Change weapons for Fritz. We're going to get rid of... 
Oh, that's a bit of a problem now, isn't it? Because the Zaku-1 has such a shitty inventory space, I don't think I can equip that sub rock gun. Not with these two shields on. Nope, I can't. I would have to lose both shields. Well, that's a bother. Well, looks like, Fritz, you don't get a new weapon. At least not yet. Ooh, I see a chest. I want it to... I want... I see two chests. I want them generation kit, so that's to revive a fallen enemy, or fallen out enemy. Ooh, wait a minute, Fritz, you might be getting that new weapon after all. Let's just see here, let's remove that. Let's, oops. Just put that there. I might have to get rid of one of these shields. Oh, my, 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 its attack is 30. Subrock is 16, wow, that's a massive increase, but it does take two energy. How much is a small cannon? Small cannon is only 40. Holy crap. I really want it. I want to use it so bad. Yeah, we're going to do it. And look at that. I managed to keep both shields. Yeah, I can use that off the bat too because of the energy there. But, you know, that is a bit of a problem though because... What will end up happening here is <clears throat> I won't be able to use the small cannon. But it basically is almost small cannon. So you know what? I'll, I'll take it. We'll see how it works. Worst comes to worse. It's not that big of a deal for me. Okay. Okay. Beam pick. Now we get to see what this is all about. We'll use it on you. Fight gun cannon on you. Bazooka! 73 damage. Nice. You're playing with the big boys now, eh? But it does take out all of his energy. And acid. That's fucking great. So the problem with the bazooka is that it's going to keep me from being able to use the small cannon and then switching out the rounds for it. That is a problem. Even though the attack is just 20 below that, that is a bit of a problem. I may switch back to uh, the acid machine gun. <sighs> Another speed kit, that's nice. That is a bit of an issue. Sorry, Fritz. That shiny new toy you got. I'm going to have to put it away for now because it's going to remove too much, or it's going to be too much of a problem with the, uh... Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, I can use the subrock gun. Lokanhar, you don't know what you're fucking talking about most of the time, do you, kid? That'll work. <clears throat> the reason I did that is because it screws up the rotation. Oh, I have acid on. That's goddamn cute. Use an item. Cure out of acid. Ah, uh, decisions, decisions. Do I want to go heal and save, or just stick with it? Because I think all that's left in this area is a boss fight. Which is way over here. Oh shit, it's a dead end. Fuck! What looks like an open area is in fact not an open area. Uh, the subrock gun. You shouldn't be able to kill something with that off the bat. I'm hoping for its... Don't make a liar out of me, you fucker. I'm really tempted to just go fight this boss. I know he's over here. But I also know if I do it, I'm gonna get wrecked. Just because I'm recording. Ugh. And I don't feel like having to go pick up the items again. So, you know what? And since I bollocked up this part and went to a dead end. Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead and save. I don't feel like having to redo this part. With my freaking luck. It's stuck on a truck by the mobile suits. Come on, let me out of here, let me out of here, let me out of here. I don't want to be here. Damn it!
Fight, yes, fight, subrock, fight, yeah, mm-hmm, that's good. Take them all out, please. That was a bit of a waste. Damn, I should have redone that in a different way. Take out the middle, and that just leaves the sped up asshole. You're an asshole, you're an asshole. My plan is, once I actually get a replacement mobile suit, I'll probably give... Whichever my next one, I'm hoping it'll be for Aeon, so I can actually take the Aeon's mobile suit and give it over to the Grimace. Because that Zaku one is really starting to show its age, and the biggest problem is the inventory issue. Now, you can equip multiple weapons, so I could equip the Subrock gun, the Bazooka, the Small Cannon, um, the Zaku... To or the Magella top attack cannon, all of those I could equip. As long as you have the inventory space for it, I don't think there's really any reason why you can't equip this or that. Uh, different types of items in there, as long as you have the inventory space for it. Hey, 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 way to go, Fritz! You actually did something. Besides shitting yourself in front of the enemy, that's impressive, Fritz. I like this rotation better, because now I can use a small cannon every other turn. But, I mean, the bazooka had a really great attack, but with two energy loss, it's... Until we get something that regenerates a little bit better, it's not going to be that big of a thing for us. I can smell the save point. I want it. Success! Alright, we will save. Memory card... That's the problem with a lot of RPGs and me trying to play them, is that it's going to really boil down to me saving three or four times an episode. Just because with my luck, I will fuck this up. Okay, we're all healed, everything's good to go. Hopefully I can get out of here without having to fight something else. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let me out of here. Yes, that's good. Good, good, let the blood hurt flow through you. Nice day at the beach, they said. Let's just go and hang out. Get a nice tan. Well, it started raining, assholes. It started raining these assholes. All right, Fritz, come on. Let's get this. Uh, you're, you're the stardust kid. Come on, you can do it. Not quite. I had faith in Fritz, and I was betrayed because I had faith in Fritz. See, I'm using reverse psychology on him. If I call him an asshole and he's useless and all this, he'll actually do good. Uh, sub rock gun, whatever. Hmm, you got an attack off before Tristan did. That's interesting. Hell, at this rate, if I keep getting into fights, I might as well level up to level 10. Okay, this time, follow the road. Wiggy camera angles. Looking out for chests, too. Oh! Ah, I see a chest over there, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it. The enemy is approaching. Okay, remember the comment about we don't, they, you know, they don't appear on radar at all whatsoever. So keep that comment in your head until we see this. It's, it's from above? Below? See, again, the radar. It's not picking up anything. Where is it? It's coming from the ocean. It's... It's Godzilla! He, there he is. He's trying to kill us. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh, my God. You know, Godzilla might have been a good thing. Now, they say it doesn't pick up on radar. How the hell does radar not pick up something of this size? And all I have to say is, once it's mass-produced, we'll put an end to the Federation in no time. It's the Zock! It actually looks really good for his chibi model. Mm, that That's what she said. Is this a mobile suit too? Technically, it's more of a mobile armor, but yeah, we'll just go with mobile suit. Just for his sheer size, it's more of a mobile armor, I think. Oh my god, it's Revolver Ocelot. Attacking them and murdering them indiscriminately. Uh, 
Oh, the Dark Alliance, the Dark Alliance. You guys could have picked a better name. Do you know, have you seen Vladdy Zarth? You've heard of Lord Zarth, so you're not just any kid. Ho, 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 ho. Ha ha ha, I am laugh at your determination. Uh, I'm assuming your name is Weaver. Ocean Storm Weaver. Is that your first name, really? Ah, one of the four generals. Okay, we heard kind of a little bit about you. Amphibious, uh, as amphibious as a rock is? Yeah, sure. It's not really that, I mean, you suppose, under the water. And welcome to a pretty big boss fight. Yes, it does. That's another big thing. Well, she does have the analyze ability, my friend. <laughs> yeah, Aeon, you're a little goofy. Okay, so, like she said, when we see that the Zok here is actually going to be doing a boost attack... We all need to defend, because it will do a tremendous amount of damage to us really quick if we're, not, uh, if we're not paying attention. And I remember the first time I fought it, I got wrecked by this thing. I was also really under level too, so that was a bit of an issue. So let's go ahead and start this fight off here. We're going to go ahead, and we're actually going to charge up using Tristan. And we're going to, because you only have... A double shield will come in handy with this too. Chaffield totally protects army from bullets and shells. Now, I don't know if that actually works on his ranged attack or not, but we're actually just going to use the sub rock going on you. I'm hoping to slow him down. Now he also does use status affecting items as well. Um, we're going to go with defense hat because he's got a lot of armor. All right, speed down off the bat. Yes, nicely done. RNG is with me today. Does a lot of damage. It really does. Fortunately, we can't use the Mega Slash yet. If I attack with the Beam Pick, though, I will be able to. So let's go ahead and do that. What do you have? You have a grenade, heat clear, da da. I'll save your attacks for later. For now, you're going to use the small cannon. Fight. And you have for boost, mega fire. Mega fire would be really nice to use right now. Now, he has close to, I think, like a thousand health. So, the quicker we can get this battle done, the better. Alright, so he's using a technique now, which is probably going to be either some form of defense up or lower our speed or some bullshit. Tristan, we're going to have you do a Mega Slash on this asshole. I don't want to use the uh, Bakunetsu because I have an, enemy, or, uh, an item equipped on my fist, the Beam Pick, so I can't. But the Mega Slash we will use. Technique, you are going to use Repair on yourself, and you are going to use Repair on yourself. I want to keep my health very high because I'm worried about that boost attack. Nearly 300 damage, not bad. Defense Jammer. Ah, that's what he does. Okay, so now we got a boost attack coming. This is going to be a problem if we don't defend against this, so we're going to go ahead and defend. Can you use... No, he can't use Double Shield yet. Defend and defend. It was lucky enough for us that we actually managed to uh, get health all the way around. Mega Wave! Nothing can stop the Spanish Inquisition! I'll take it. 33 damage, that's not bad at all. So now he's just going to use ranged attacks. And I can almost use that, but I'm going to go ahead and use the beam pick. You can almost use... You know what? I want to see if this works. I've never really used it, I don't think. Mega fire, definitely, with the gun cannon. Chaffield! Now, for the most part, what's really nice about this, if you notice, he doesn't 
attack Tristan for melee, so that's really nice to take uh, take advantage of. I didn't protect shit. You lied to me, Fritz. Being picked again. Um, you're gonna use the small cannon, and you're gonna heal yourself. Now you can. I think you can just keep up with this. You can probably defense hack him one more time. It would make it a little easier. Oh, you do not have a lot of health. Ooh. Oh, I thought he was going after for, uh, Aeon with that. You're going to use Mega Slash on him. You're going to use Repair on him. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, Technique. So he's probably going to lower our defense again. On yourself, technique, repair on yourself. Tristan has a shit ton of health, so I'm not too worried. Eat beam pick, asshole! Fuck you, Zok! And that's the Zok fight, folks. Uh, at, at the energy capacitor and E cap large. Nice. Uh, so that's the Zok fight. There's not a whole lot to him. I mean, at the stage we're at, we're really well prepared for this fight, so there's not a whole lot we have to put up with. Just watch out for his boost attacks. Defend whenever they come up, because it does do a lot of damage, but if you defend, it negates quite a bit of it. Uh, Tristan is definitely going to be the damage dealer for this entire fight, because this dumbass doesn't know how to use the oversized claws to um, counterattack against melee, so feel free to abuse him for that. I really wouldn't use anybody else for it, uh, a melee that is like Fritz or Aeon because they're only going to be if you're putting them like I am they're only going to have their knuckles to really fight and it doesn't do a whole lot of damage compared to what their weapons do uh, their long range weapons so just keep up with that he's got roughly a thousand health I think uh, he will just defense hack him once speed if you can get the um, uh, the speed down on him using the weapon status that works a lot too to your uh, benefit so you'll be okay he can be tough, though, if you've really under-leveled or if you're not used to how the, the fighting system works. You just told us a few moments ago, dude, that we stood no chance against you and that we were good as dead. Now you're about to explode. You were talking all that good shit a second ago and then you got kicked in your chest. Ah, there's nothing quite like watching an oversized windbag get what he deserves. All right, it's over. Ish. Oh, you big girl. Yeah, that is kind of helpful, if you, especially if you've never fought him before, that Aeon does warn you to watch out for his boost attack. The voices, they spoke to me. Uh, again, woo. Big warning signs here, folks. Oh, you know, the ones that tell me to murder, kill, pillage, rape, murder, murder, pillage, rape. Now, I don't know about you, Fritz, but my memories don't really whisper to me about stuff. And I don't exactly have uh, the definition of a ghost that whispers to you. I don't know, maybe it's kind of like deja vu or just a feeling of intuition. No, it's... You actually fit quite well into this world, Aeon, considering how everybody else is dressed, too. Yeah, she actually pulled her weight with that fight. I'll take that. And then, Fritz, you were kind of useless. That chaff field didn't do shit, did it? Okay, now don't forget, we have a treasure chest behind this big-ass palooka. We, I think there should be wreckage everywhere. Nothing but Zok. Bits of Zok everywhere. Anyways, we get rewarded with ourselves a new thing. Not God damn it. I want my chest. I want it. I want it so bad. Oh, whoops. Piss off, you wankers. Sub rock gun, fight Ooh. I do love the fact that it has the memory cursor, but sometimes I loathe the fact that it has the memory cursor. Fight, beam pick, go, fight. Oops, small cannon, go, fight, sub rock, go.
Now this actually comes in handy up here for a minute because if we wanted to get out of here, we'd have to trounce our way all the way back through here and fight every mook along the way. But because Tristan does have TP left over, we will be able to escape and auto drive our way back to Port Marley. Ooh, iron spear. I like it. We'll have to take a look at that. Change weapons. That's definitely gonna be a Tristan weapon. Uh, iron spear. 58 attack. That's not bad. The only problem is it's so freaking large. Uh, whoops. I actually might be able to equip that. And the beam pick. Whoops. Iron spear. Oh, you can't. That's cute. Sure, why not? Let's see. Oh, I can't equip it. Oh, that's just dumb. Well, we won't be using that anytime soon. And the reason is, if you can't tell there, it was one... Like, in one pellet too small of an area for us to be able to use it. Anyway, so we got that, and that's basically it for this area. Let's get the fuck out of here. Escape. Basically, escape rope from Pokemon. And we'll use our auto drive all the way back to Port Marley, and I'm going to go save, and we're going to call it a video there, folks. Use technique. You auto drive Port Marley. Away! Alrighty then. Ah, so nice to be back in town. Uh, actually, a couple little things probably, I think, have changed here. As a matter of fact. Oop, no, no, that's not what I want to do. Yes, that's what I want to do. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yes. Ayosh. Um, we'll go right here and save. All right, success. Okay, we done quite a bit. We've cleared out all the pirates in this mission. We've shown off a little bit more of the customization. I now have Dom legs for my my gym, which is amusing as all belief. Not to mention, it looks it does pretty good for speed and everything else. It adds to it. No, there's no deficits for putting it onto that. You can if you don't want to. Uh, you could actually put it onto another mobile suit. I wouldn't recommend the Zaku one because it's just not worth wasting such a good part onto him. Um, I like building Tristan and my melee attackers into really heavy HP, so they have that for the counterattacks that they're inevitably going to get. So it's up to you to build it however you want. Uh, after here, we still need to go upstairs and talk to the constable, but we'll start that next time because it's been almost 44 minutes or so for recording, which is longer than the last video, and I didn't want to go too far out. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thanks, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you later.